So this is Bangmut city. And uh, we cut the Bangmut front usually into half, the southern and the northern flank. In the southern flank, uh, the Russian forces uh, continue their offensive operations in this area here. A bit is a very positional and slow one. C attack towards Klishevka, Andreevka, and Kudyomivka. There is also a report from the Russian Defense Ministry about attack at Dilievka. So there could be a possibility that the Russians are pushing uh, from the south uh, southwest of Kudyomivka towards D Dilievka. So this this would signify a new vector of attack that was previously uh, not seen. Uh, uh, for a long time, you know, that the Russians attack in this direction. So we will continue to monitor. So the last attack uh, that was mentioned uh, at Dilievka was in December, 1st of December. And if you look at some of these uh, nearby ones, like you know, Ozerianivka, the last attack was reported in October. So this vector of attack is very, very new. Uh, it's very, very new. We, we didn't see this for a long, long time. So, and uh, if this turn out to be a breakthrough oh my god the russians are going the ukrainians are going to have a big big problem and the russians are going to have a few day because if you push in this direction and along the colonel and just break out from this area here the entire line here is going to collapse like and this line is a good line it's a very very good line the ukrainians have held this position uh, for months very successfully after they recaptured this from the Wagner forces uh, because the Wagner forces captured it and then they gave it to the U Russians but it was is a shit position it's a very lousy strategic is position is very hard to defend the Russians gave it up because it's just hard to defend they give it up the Ukrainians held it and and now you no know, it could just be you no know, totally uh, ignored by the Russian forces if they make the push in this way so we shall wait and see. Further, uh, further away, uh, the Russians strike the Konstantinov uh, train station through with missile attacks. Uh, so the train station got hit. So, uh, not sure, you no, know, how what was hit. Uh, supposedly, the video was seen to have pretty big explosions. Uh, in the northern flank, uh, so this is the northern flank of the Bakhmut front. Uh, Russian forces are attacking over at Klish, uh, Bodanivka region. Uh, in the north of Berdanivka as well as Ivaniske. And uh, the front line change uh, from the U Deep State UA, as I mentioned earlier, has suggested that the Russians have made progress in the north, corroborating uh, Russian claims. So they are a bit like a bit slow, two, three days uh, behind of the Russian claims. However, it is okay, you no, know, it's corroboration. So that's very, very good. A lot of geolocations locations of uh, Russian forces attacking uh, Ukrainian positions, Ukrainians getting attacked and uh, getting hit uh, within uh, this by what? This uh, by my multiple launch rocket system by GRAD, I believe. And then the Ukrainian attack uh, in the rear by artillery systems uh, in the rear position. So it, it, it does shows the intensity of the fighting in this area here through the number of geolocation location in this area here. I think the main focus, it wouldn't be Budanivka. It wouldn't be this push. Okay, let me use another color. It wouldn't be Budanivka. The Russians are not going to push to Chasifia just yet. Not yet. Uh, because it's not uh, it's not tactically viable. I think the main focus is going to be Ivanivsky. And this is where the Russians are. As I mentioned before, they are going to try to close up the northern uh, northern flank as well as the northeastern flank. They are now already closed up on the eastern part. So this, this area here has already been closed up. The Russians have entered the, the city. The battle of Ivanivsky is already ongoing. But it will not go into a very uh, heavy battle. The Russians are not going to make a big push until they can actually secure the northern side as well as the northeastern side. Once they can do this, then they will be able to attack from multiple you know, directions, including even from the south. And with this attack, with uh, this envelopment, the Ukrainian forces will be squeezed out of Ivaniske like a toothpaste and they will have to enter into the, uh, into the forest uh, for refuge. So this is probably what we are going to be looking at uh, over the next week or two over at Ivanivsky.